What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 10 tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about how to create and add materials to your custom materials library inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this tutorial, we're going to use the Villa Van Manen um, example model that gets brought in as a part of your examples in Lumion 10. And so when we do that, what I want to do is I want to show you how to add a custom material, um, not only to your rendering, but also to your material library inside of Lumion. So to start off, let's go ahead and let's zoom in and we're going to take a look at this big chimney looking thing on the front side of the building. And so what I want to do is I want to swap out this material, but I want to do it by creating a new material with files that I've already downloaded. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start off and we're going to click on the button for materials right here. And that's going to allow us to edit the material that's on this face. And we're going to go ahead and click on this material. And so what that's going to allow us to do is bring up this window where we can edit our materials. And so in this situation, what I want to do is I want to create a new material. So I'm going to click on the button for go to the material library. So I'm going to go back there. And on the very right hand side, there's an option for new. And so what new is going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to create a new material inside of Lumion. So when we click on new, you can see how there's a number of different options in here. In this situation, we just want to go down to a standard material material. So we don't want any of these other materials. We just want a standard material. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. So that's going to pop up this window. And now we need to load in our color map and our normal map. So I've downloaded this particular material from polygon.com. You can kind of get them wherever you want. But um, what we need is we need to load in the color map and the normal map. So in this situation, I'm going to go down to my tile material. And we want to bring in so I want to go into this Tiles 30 folder, um, and I've downloaded these as a 3K texture, but you can see how there's a number of different maps that get downloaded when you download PBR materials from websites. So again, I got this one from Polygon. You can go to any number of other places to download these as well. But what you need to do is you need to find, first of all, the map that represents the color of the material or the texture. So in this case, it's going to be the one labeled COL. So I'm just going to double click on that and that's going to bring this in and it's going to apply it to this face. So what we want to do right now, because this doesn't look like a very realistic material, we want to load a normal map in. So a normal map is going to simulate bumpiness on this face. So in order to do that, we're going to click on this button for choose normal map. And we're going to go find the normal map that's associated with this. In this case, this is labeled NRM. And it's got this kind of like bluish purplish color. So we know that that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And what that's going to do is that's going to load this map in. And now um, Lumion is going to simulate simulate bumpiness on this face. And you'll be able to see it a lot better if I was to turn my reflectivity up. So you can see if I turn that reflectivity up really high, um, you can definitely see this, but it's obviously reflecting too much light. So we're going to go ahead and drag this back down to maybe somewhere down here. Stone doesn't reflect a whole lot of light, so this will probably work just fine for us. You can adjust the relief slider to set how strong the normal map effect is on your bricks or on your stones. So if you drag this left and right, the further right you go, the more pronounced that effect's going to be. The further left you go, the less pronounced that's going to be. And so you could also come in here if you wanted to and adjust your map scale. So the size of the stone material. So you can see as I drag this up, this gets bigger. If I drag this back down, it gets smaller. And then if I drag it all the way to the left to zero, it'll just go back to the default. And so if you have this map scale set to custom, you can also in addition, adjust the X and Y offset of this material so you can adjust how this is placed on your face. So in this situation, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this as is. And now that I have this material set up the way that I like it, there's a new button that got added in Lumion 10 called Save Material to Custom Materials. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to save this to your custom materials library. So in this situation, I'm going to label this stone underscore rough tile. And you can call this whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And so what that's going to do is that's going to add this to your material library. Well, now in the future, 
when you want to access this material, you can click on this little black button or this little back button back here. And there's a tab now for custom materials. So you can see how now these metal ma or now these materials that you've saved inside your library show up and they'll show up in your future in your future renderings. So this was a little bit frustrating in the past because you had to come back in and re-import materials every single time that we, you wanted to use them in a in a rendering. Well now these are all going to show up in the list, meaning you can jump back and forth between the custom materials that you've imported and that you've used in the past. You can see how like this rusty panel in here, for example, I can just get to it really quickly. So now you can use this to actually build out a material library inside of Lumion for your future renderings. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, I know it's more of a utility function, but I find it very useful to be able to save these materials for access later. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this feature, about Lumion 10's new features. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.